Tonight, just before the show, I saw a tweet from reporter John Levine, who was at CPAC about a, a CPAC and wrote about a comment about former Republican National Committee chairman and MSNBC contributor Michael Steele. John Levine reported CPAC communications director Ian Walters at, a Re at Reagan dinner. Quote, we elected Mike Steele as chairman because he was a black guy. That was the wrong thing to do. He followed up comment was met with gasps at our table. And joining me now on the phone from CPAC is Michael Steele. Michael, thank you very much for calling in. I appreciate it on short notice. So um, you, how did you hear about this comment and what was your reaction? I, I was uh, finishing up my radio program on Sirius XM and uh, uh, it came across my phone. Someone came running up to the table and said, have you seen this? Right in the middle of a conversation I was having with one of our guests and I looked down at my phone. And I, and of course, I had a I had one of those moments where you just go, "What the?" So yeah, a little bit shocked, very disappointed, um, surprised that people uh, still uh, in the party um, feel this way and look at uh, the contributions that anyone would make to the party um, through the through the prism of, of race. And so, it's unfortunate, it's stupid, uh, it's immature. Um, and I'm waiting to speak with Matt Schlapp about it. I hope it is not a reflection of the leadership of, of CPAC. I've participated in CPAC um, uh, for many, many years. I've spoken in CPAC. Uh, and I think also, Joy, it's, uh, it's almost endemic of what's going on in this country as well. Yeah. Well, that is my question uh, and, to you, and how Michael. how quickly people revert to race. Yeah. Uh, as a weapon, and it's just it's ignorant. Well, that's the question I was going to ask you, because it, you've been a Republican a long time. Um, do you sense that the party has changed and shifted toward more openness with these kind of views, in, in your view? Clearly, clearly. Yeah. Um, and, and, I, and, I think that, and I think that's something that's going to be concerning going forward, uh, yeah. to play itself out during the campaign. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we continue to see that. So uh, this episode is, is sad, but uh, look, uh, we're, we're going to as crazy as much as we can. And, yeah. and again, have, education starts from within. Indeed. Have you spoken with uh, Mr. Walters? He did call, um, and he tried to explain himself and said what he was thinking. He related it back to Barack Obama's election, and, and then he said at one point, I, I apologize. And I just said, you know, that's just not, that's not acceptable. It's yeah. not enough. So. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure so the Obama excuse is, is, is helpful, but um, I appreciate you. Yeah, the Obama excuse is not helpful, uh, <laughs> and I'll talk about it some more tomorrow uh, on my series program, so folks can tune in and listen to that as well. And got the plug in. Thank you very much, Michael Steele. Appreciate there you it. Go, Mike, babe. Michael Steele Take gets care. the last word. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.